Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss on important current affairs for 15th August. If the content is helpful, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. At the end, we'll learn a vocabulary word on daily basis. First one. Who has launched the largest countrywide run, Fit India Freedom Run, recently? Answer is Kiran Rijiju. Sports Minister Kiran Rijiju launched the largest countrywide run, the Fit India Freedom Run. The event is being organized to mark the 74th Independence Day of India on 15th of August to 151st birthday anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi on 2nd October. The participants of this event can run at their own pace anywhere and at any time of their convenience during this period. The total kilometers can be tracked using a global positioning system, GPS watch or manually. The aim of this event is to encourage fitness among the masses and help citizens to get freedom from obesity, laziness, stress, anxiety and other diseases. Remember, Fit India movement was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi last year in August. Fit India has organized events like Fit India Plong Run and Fit India Cyclothon in the past. Next one. Which country has successfully tested Arrow 2 Ballistic Missile Interceptor recently? Answer is Israel. Arrow 2 Ballistic Missile Interceptor has been successfully tested by Israel. This test was conducted in the test site in Central Israel over the Mediterranean Sea by the Missile Defense Agency of the United States of America along with Israeli Air Force and Israel Aerospace Industries. Arrow 2 is a multi-layered system designed and manufactured by Israel Aerospace Industries and US-based Boeing. It is designed to defend the short and mid-range rockets and long-range missiles. About Israel, Israel is a Middle Eastern country. Its Prime Minister is Benjamin Netanyahu. Its capital is Jerusalem and currency is Israeli New Shekel. Next one. Who has assumed charge as the Director General Naval Operations recently? Answer is Dinesh K. Tripathi. Vice Admiral Dinesh K. Tripathi has become the Director General Naval Operations. He is a specialist in communication and electronic warfare and served on frontline warships in Navy. Previously, he served as a commander in INS Vinash, INS Kirch and INS Trishul and as the Executive Officer and Principal Warfare Officer in Guided Missile Destroyer in INS Mumbai. About Indian Navy, Indian Navy was founded in 1612. The current Chief of Naval Staff is Admiral Karambir Singh and the headquarters of Navy is in New Delhi. Next one. What is the name of the offshore patrol vessel launched by Indian Coast Guard recently? Answer is Sardak. An offshore patrol vessel Sardak was launched for the Indian Coast Guard. The launching ceremony held at Goa Shipyard Limited was conducted through video conferencing from Coast Guard headquarters in New Delhi. Sardak is the fourth in the series of five offshore patrol vessels deployed by the Coast Guard to enhance maritime security. It has been designed and built indigenously by Goa Shipyard Limited in line with the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision of Make in India. About Indian Coast Guard, it was founded in 1978. Its current Director General is Krishna Swami Natarajan and its headquarters is in New Delhi. Next one. Who has been awarded CEO of the year by Indian Achievers Forum recently? Answer is Gagan Arora. Gagan Arora has been awarded the CEO of the year by Indian Achievers Forum. Gagan Arora is the CEO of Vertex Global Services. Indian Achievers Forum recognizes entrepreneurs who demonstrate extraordinary success and excellence in areas such as innovation, social, professional achievements, financial performance and personal commitment to their businesses and communities and also how the successful achievers can help the social and economic infrastructural development in and around the country. Next one. Which state has announced Orunodai scheme for women empowerment recently? Answer is Assam. Assam government has announced the Orunodai scheme for the empowerment of women in the state. Under this scheme, the government will provide rupees 830 per month to poor families. This scheme covers about 17 lakh poor families in Assam. For this, 
Assam government have allocated rupees 280 crores. Widows, divorced, unmarried or separated women and disabled persons will be given priority in this scheme. About Assam, capital of Assam is Dispur, chief minister is Sarbananda Sonowal and governor is Jagdish Mukhi. Who has launched the Naval Innovation and Indigenization Organization recently? Answer is Rajnath Singh. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh launched the Naval Innovation and Indigenization Organization through an online webinar. The establishment of NIIO is part of the draft defense acquisition policy 2020 rolled out by the defense minister last month. This was launched with the aim for enhancing innovation and indigenization for self-reliance in defense. Indian Navy already has a functional directorate of indigenization and now with the launch of NIIO, the ongoing indigenization initiatives will focus on innovation as well. Also remember, Indian Navy's indigenization perspective plans title Swavalamban was also released on this occasion. Next one. Who has been appointed as the non-executive chairman of India Bulls Housing Finance Limited recently? Answer is SS Mundra. SS Mundra has been appointed as the non-executive chairman of India Bulls Housing Finance. Remember, SS Mundra was a former deputy governor of RBI. Mundra will replace Samir Gehlat. Samir Gehlat is the co-founder and chairman of India Bulls Housing Finance Limited and now he moved as CEO to India Bulls Ventures Limited, a subsidiary company of India Bulls Housing Finance Limited. Mundra had joined the board of India Bulls Housing in 2018 as an independent director and now he has been appointed by the board as non-executive chairman. Remember, India Bulls Housing Finance Limited is India's second largest housing finance company. It was formed in the year 2005 and its headquarters is in Gurugram. Next one. Moira Bananas, Harmal Chillis, Kajay of which state union territory got a GI tag recently? Answer is Goa. Goa's Harmal Chillis, Moira Bananas and Kajay gets geographical indications from the geographical indications registry. Harmal Chillis are grown only in Harmal village and adjacent areas of Pernam Taluka, especially in the coastal village of Arambol. And Moira bananas are unique bananas grown in Moira village of Bardes Taluka and Bicholin Taluka. Kaja is the traditional sweet of Goa and it is an integral part of the Hindu Jatras and Catholic celebrations held in Goa. About Goa, capital of Goa is Panaji, chief minister is Pramod Savant and governor is Satyapal Malik. Next one. India signed a MOU with which country for space cooperation recently? Answer is Nigeria. Government of India signed a MOU on space cooperation with Nigeria. The MOU is focused on the collaboration in the exploration and uses of outer space technologies for peaceful purposes. This will expand the collaboration of India and Nigeria in the field of agriculture, space technology, defense and advancement. This MOU enables sharing of equipment, documentations, data, experiment results, development of micro and mini satellites for commercial and scientific purposes. About Nigeria, Nigeria is an African country. Its president is Muhammadu Buhari, capital is Abuja and currency is Nigerian Naira. Now we'll learn the vocabulary word for today. Today's word is dwellers. It means a person who lives in a specified place. Example is, Chhattisgarh has launched Indra Van Mitan Yojana to support forest dwellers. These are the important current topics for 15th August. If the content is helpful, please share, like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.